Hello Ross developers, welcome to the Ross in 5 minutes video series by the construct, your channel for everything Ross. I'm by the Adeniola and in this video we'll be answering the question what is a Ross message. For this we are using the Ross development studio, a powerful online tool for pushing your Ross training in a practical way. Um, you'll find the link to this studio in the video description. So for this we have a project already prepared and we just open it up. For the purpose of demonstration, we have three programs here. And the first two are doing something similar by making this message here available. You can see the same message. And then this third one is doing something that we'll see shortly. So let's get started. First, we examine the current state. We want to know the nodes we have currently. So we have three nodes, like you can see here. We also want to know the topics we have. So we have two topics. So we get ahead and run our first program. OB1. So here we see is printing a message to the screen. So we go back and examine the list of nodes. So indeed we have one more node representing the program that is running. So let's see for topics. So the list of topics has not changed. So that's all for our first program. Let's stop it. and run the second one. Nothing on the screen. Does it mean it's not doing anything? So let's find out by, ex by examining the nodes. So again, we have, a, we have another node representing the new program running. So what about topics? Now we have a new topic called app message. So great. So at this point also we are going to run our third program while the second program is still running. So we see that it's printing out the message similar to what the first program printed out here. Great. So what do all this mean? Starting from our first point here, it said a ROS message is the way to communicate or talk to a node. Is the way that node communicate with one another. So in plain terms, what we have here in this first program is technically not a message because it's not talking to any node. But what we have in this second program is a message because this node can receive it. So the second point is that it's done over channels. So for the second node, from the program here you can see that it's actually putting this message on a channel. What we know in ROS as topic. And then this third program is actually receiving the message on the same channel. And that will be all for this video. Um, in the next video, we'll be looking at the third point, which is structure. To learn more about ROS messages, you can visit this link, which will also be available in the video description. But before you go, remember to visit the Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots, no installation required. You will find a link to this academy in the video description. So did you like the video? If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell for a new video every day. Either way, please leave us your thoughts in the comments area. We'll be happy to hear from you. Peace out. Udabo.